Unraveling the Mystery of Royal Edict. Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of historical phrases with our focus on Royal Edict. If you've ever wondered what this phrase means, especially in historical contexts, you're in the right place. Let's embark on this linguistic journey together. A royal edict is a formal proclamation or command issued by a monarch or royal authority. These edicts were powerful tools in historical governance. Unlike casual announcements, edicts carried legal weight, often leading to significant changes in law, policy, or societal norms. Historically, royal edicts played a crucial role. They were used to establish laws, declare wars, or even grant rights to certain groups of people. These documents were a primary way for monarchs to exercise their power and were often seen as direct words from the ruler. One famous example is the Edict of Nantes in 1598 by King Henry IV of France granting religious freedom to Protestants. This shows how royal edicts could shape societies. Another example is the Edict of Expulsion in 1290 by King Edward I of England, expelling all Jews from England, illustrating the sometimes harsh nature of these decrees. Royal edicts were typically written in formal and authoritative language. They often began with a preamble explaining the reason for the edict, followed by the specific commands or laws being enacted. The language used was intended to reflect the power and solemnity of the monarchy. Today, the term, royal edict, is often used metaphorically to describe any authoritative or unilateral decision or proclamation, even outside of a royal context. It's a part of our language that reminds us of a time when monarchs wielded absolute power. I hope this video has shed light on the intriguing phrase, royal edict, and its place in both history and language. Remember, every phrase has a story, and understanding it can enrich our comprehension of language and history. Thank you for watching, and see you in our next linguistic adventure.